Hey guys! Two weeks ago I showed you the haul video of all the stuff that I got from my new planner and then last week you had to see how I migrate my collections over from one system to another and this week is another compilation video of me actually setting this up and figuring out how I want to use it so take a look! So as you saw in the video two weeks ago where I did a haul for this new planner, um, this is a ring binder that I got off Etsy from a shop called Asian Vintage TN. Um, it is the first ring planner I've ever owned. Um, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So this is going to be sort of an incrementally filmed video where I'm showing you sort of my setup process. Um, so far, what I have in here, I will show you, like the reason that I was interested in trying out rings in the first place. Well, one of the reasons. Um, I really wanted to use it for project planning because especially with like these YouTube videos, um, it's nice, like sometimes some of them, I have thoughts. I have lots of thoughts in my head. This is an example of a video from I think three weeks ago. I'm planning these all ahead of time so I forget. Here we go, the end of June. Um, these are notes that I took that are on like a project page, so for a YouTube video, and I wanted to keep track of the tasks that I have to do. Um, and basically, when I'm in my traveler's notebook, I can actually show you here. Like I had some of these set up as sort of project page sections in my traveler's notebook. Um, but I wasn't sure, first of all, how much space I was going to need and if I needed to like give a full page, a half page um, for notes for a particular video. Um, also, it feels like it just takes up a lot of space in these field notes inserts. If I do a page or half a page even for every YouTube video every week. Um, but I kind of want to have that option and I feel like the rings gives me the flexibility to expand if I need to expand and then I can get rid of this page once the video is done. I can just archive it and not worry about it taking up space in my planner or using up space in a traveler's notebook um, or sorry in a field notes insert that could be used for something else that's more useful and then I have to like flip past these pages all the time looking for what I'm looking for. It just starts to feel kind of cluttered to me towards the end of an insert, um, which doesn't help things. You know, I, I like to be able to feel like I have what I need and I don't have anything more than that. So I'm looking forward to using the rings for this so that I can put in a page for a, uh, for a project and then take it out when I'm done with it and not have to carry it around with me. So uh, I just printed out some like grid paper. This is a really tiny, it was supposed to be a 2.5 centimeter grid. Um, I make my own grid paper on incompetech.com, same place I get my music, most of it. Um, I think I printed it wrong though because it's a little bit smaller than that. So it's this itty bitty little grid, but I thought it would be uh, useful. So what I have in here is my schedule from the beginning of May when I finished uh, one with my bullet journal through mid-September when I come back from my maternity leave. Um, You'll see, like, I'm planning everything in advance, so I'm currently still in April as I'm making this, so things aren't filled in yet. But um, this is the schedule so that I can keep track of everything, and I'll cross off these videos with my uh, red zebra mod liner as they get finished. Next is the checklist here. Um, these boxes are on my little Moxie Dory stencil, which you've probably seen if you've watched the middle section of my one month in my bullet journal, I used this header and it did not go well, but these boxes are great uh, because there are sort of seven steps that I break up video production into. And so prep, film, edit, thumbnail, upload, description, end screen, right? Every one of these steps then goes along the top of an actual project page and I can just cross it off. And it was really easy because there's actually seven boxes here. I just put it up there and make the little boxes at the beginning of each of these project pages or video project pages. So this is here to remind me in case I forget what each box stands for and that way I don't have to label each one on the actual page. Then this uh, page will be for video ideas as they come up. I have not put any there yet but I need to have this here so that it's ready for ideas as they come up. And then the actual video notes pages 
like here's the one we're working on right now. Um, I printed same uh, two and a half millimeter grid or slightly smaller, but I decided to be fun and do it in like a red. You probably can't even see the grid at all um, on here. It's a very faint, very tiny little like red ink grid. Um, and I just thought that would be fun for the theme. Since I'm printing my own inserts, I can be silly like that. So that's what I've got so far. I will be filming clips to add to this video um, as I set things up. So let's see. Okay, I've been playing around with this for a couple days. Can't stop sniffing it, it's amazing. Um, and I found the wonder that is Peanuts Planner Co. inserts. Uh, but first, this is just a piece of spare cardstock from Michael's that I had and I thought it was pretty, so I cut it to size. Um, it's actually, I think, a little bit too small, so that just shows you how good I am at this. Um, but this is a free printable off the Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group, and it's this daily. And I thought that I would give a shot to um, sort of planning out in this to see how I like this layout, because my plan uh, is to use this as my planner starting when the baby's born so that um, I have a space, like I'm going to have dailies printed out um, pre-printed so that I can assign things as they come up and not have to like spend any time setting up. Um, and I want this goals, I want this to be able to be something that multiple people can use so I can, if somebody comes over and says, hey, we want to see the baby, can we help you out around the house? I can point them to the page and say, hey, here's a list of things that can be done or, you know, my husband or myself just to keep me on track, minimal setup and everything ready to go. So I'm trying out a daily that, like I said, is a um, free printable. Peanuts Planner Co. Amazing stuff. Um, and also, I started here Thursday, April 12th. This is a blast from the past, right? Um, if you watch my one month of my bullet journal for this day, you'll have noticed that I actually kept some stuff a secret about Friday the 13th because I was uh, throwing a surprise bachelorette party for my sister. So none of this stuff could be in my like public daily uh, because I didn't want the off chance that she was watching any of my videos because she had access to them. She wasn't watching and she did end up really surprised so it was fine but um, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't put anything potentially sensitive or spoilery in my dailies. So instead I put them in these dailies that I was trying out. Um, so just you know things like I had to call and order the pizzas and I had to you know leave work and drive straight down. Um, and so far I'm really loving these. I don't really know what to do with this like dot grid section in the middle. So I'm just putting a little washi tape there and just sort of, yeah, filling with like events on the left and tasks on the right and really liking it. I also don't know, really know what to do. <laughs> like I've never been a water tracker and I was like, I don't know what to do with the little daily bubbles. So I started tracking water uh, on Thursday. And then uh, I did not on Friday or Saturday. I just drink when I'm thirsty. I don't know. I feel like that's nature's water tracker. Anyway, uh, yeah, really liking these dailies. So go ahead and check that out because she is amazing and her prices are actually really reasonable. Plus there's stuff that's free on the Facebook group. So you can try stuff out, see what you think of her style before you even commit to spending the $2 per insert. Um, and they're all printables and they're all fantastic. Check that out. So I've been having entirely too much fun with these dailies that I showed you the um, layout Peanuts Planner Co. freebie here. And so at the end of the week, I decided let's go ahead and set up a whole weekly um, with the same to sort of get a feel for this guy. Uh, I purchased this off the Peanuts Planner Co. website. This one is DR091, week on one page. Um, the idea is, I mean, Theoretically, you could use this for events and this for tasks for the whole week and just be on one page, but that is not how I roll. Um, but it also works really perfectly to have my meal planning on these little dailies. Um, so no events or anything goes here. Those just go straight onto the daily pages. Um, before I move on, this little guy here, I wanted a today bookmarker. And I want to order one off Etsy, but um, in the meantime, this is actually, I don't know if you can see like the little shapes on here. This is just a piece of uh, plastic that came with stickers from Hobby Lobby. Like these are the little terrarium stickers that I've used in my planner. So it's a piece of clear plastic, kind of flimsy and whatever. I just took a Sharpie and just wrote the word today across the top. Then I cut it sort of 
rounded the corners just a little bit. I um, cut around, you probably can't even see, I cut around the words along the top. And then um, I punched three top holes here and then I um, cut them so that you can slip it in and out without opening the rings. So this is my little bookmark and it's super ghetto, but um, it does the trick for now until I get a like nicely made one by somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, so yeah, I have this set up. I used a little bit of washi and stickers because I'm committing to this looking cute. Um, tasks. These ones at the top are sort of more projecty, and then these ones at the bottom are more like one-offy. Um, I had to limit my tracker to five tasks and, or five items. Um, currently, like last week's tracker had these five plus kit count at the top. But I figure I'll just put kit count here on each daily and then leave these as they are. So I think it'll be fine that it's forcing me to choose five things to track. That way I can really decide what things are necessary and I can get rid of things if I find that either I don't need to do them or I um, don't need to be reminded to do them. So either way. Um, I really like how all of these colors go together even though these are all from different sources. <laughs> this is from Simply Gilded, this is from Target. This is from Hobby Lobby, and this one's also from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I just have my dailies all incorrectly labeled because Monday's actually the 16th. So I'm going to have to go back and fix that, maybe, or just ignore it. Um, and then I just put a little bit of washi tape down the, um, the time bar here to mark where I'm going to be at work. And then I will fill out the dailies as they come up because this is like not my primary planner. So I'm not worrying about that. I'm just going to copy stuff over from my traveler's notebook and just use this for fun because I don't know why not have two planners that have exactly the same information. It's just for fun. I'm having fun decorating. And yeah, then I have, um, I printed the weeklies on one side of the page and dailies on the other so that, um, I can use it this way and it just uses seven dailies and one weekly and so this is ready for next week whenever that happens <laughs> just having too much fun with this right. i went ahead and went overboard again but this is actually something that's going to be useful um this is a month on two pages it's called dro96 also from peanuts planet co um and I'm going to use this sort of as my future log. I think it's really clever how this is set up. It's got just this sort of small grid of a monthly. And so since there's not room to write things in there on each square, because this is so small, there wouldn't really be much room anyway. So I really like that this is set up this way. Um, I've got all the dates here written in my uh, Pigma Micron 01. I have a couple things that are written inside like on Mondays here I have the uh, my Hogwarts week, summer, 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 week one, and then uh, the week of my pregnancy, 32 through 35 here for May. Um, all these C's are for confirmation, these B's are for Bible study. Because those are all the same time every single week, I just put it there, I didn't even add it to any of these notes. But then everything else, these little dots and lines, are all color-coded events and things. So I can kind of at a glance see just how crazy this month of May is going to be for us. Um, or as you're seeing this as it was for us and hopefully I survived, um, you can tell me. Uh, all these yellow dots are the childbirth classes and child care classes that we're taking at the hospital before the baby comes. So those are all listed here. I actually then canceled one and rescheduled it uh, for a more convenient location in June. Um, and then green is like family events. Red is events at the... Um, local retreat center that we go to. Gray is for medical appointments and this teal blue is for holidays, anniversaries, and birthdays. So those are like all day events. So I put a little um, line instead of a dot. And then everything else is like if it's in the evening or if it's in the morning, I put the dot in a different spot on the square. But um, basically, yeah, I can kind of look at this and go, ah, something is busy that day. <laughs> um, and then kind of look over here to see what it is. Uh, I put like some notes for some of these of things I need to bring. And then up here, these are tasks, um, but they are sort of date specific in that I need to get them done a certain like week. So I put a date next to them to remind me when to do them. Also when movies come out that I want to see. 
So this I think is going to work really well for a future log. And so I have it actually printed from May um, through there's June, not quite as busy, July, obviously trying to keep that as open as possible, all the way through the end of the year. Um, I haven't filled out all of the tasks and events and things from October through December, but I did put in the dates. Um, so these are all sort of set to go and be ready as a monthly, um, but I might still, I'm still considering putting all the stuff, moving it from this like future log to a grid, a two page grid monthly, more like I had in my traveler's notebook setup. Um, for, I was using an Annie plans printables. I got a peanuts planner co one that is a grid month on two pages. Um, so I might move to that just cause it's, a, it might be easier to see at a glance what's going on, but I might decide that this is enough, um, as sort of a reference, but I really like how compact this is and how you can fit a lot of information. Um, and yeah, I'm, I think this is going to be really good. I just think it's super ingenious. So that's what I spent like all morning working on is like having fun with all these little colored dots and, uh, all the washi tape and stuff. I just used the washi tape to fill in the squares that weren't part of the month because I had to fill everything in myself because it's undated, which I actually really like because it means I can use $2.05 per download, right? And I can use it forever. Sorry, I'm a little bit obsessed by this shop, guys. <laughs> Couple days later, checking in again. Um, I'm having fun with this. <laughs> I got some more inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. This here is just a piece of acetate. Um, basically, this leather is a gorgeous brown, and I think it's lovely and skippable. But it is actually, I don't know if you can see here, there's some sort of lines here, and also, um, trying to see here, if you can kind of see, yeah, you can see that. Um, that is, was the last page in here, so that's the shape of the secretarial pocket. So like it, it's kind of rubbing off the, whatever dye they use on this leather is kind of rubbing off on the paper. So I put a little bit of acetate on the front and the back to um, sort of protect these inserts for now. Um, might replace this with something else. I ordered dividers, but they're not here yet. And so in the meantime, I've put these little post-it tabs, the super ugly ones with like Sharpie writing, just in a couple places. So it's easier for me to go through because I'm thinking I'm, kind of really wanting to dual carry. <laughs> I'm dual wielding planners while I'm doing this because I'm putting a lot of project planning stuff in here. Um, and I don't want to have to keep duplicating everything. And it's nice to have this with me on the go. Um, so yeah, as uh, I'm going to be a lot of times carrying two planners with me. So why not? Why not? So this is a, um, one of those inserts from Venus Planner Co. Like I said, this one is called uh, DR098. It's called Mail to Send. I don't know how you would use it for that, unless maybe you're sending care packages or something. I don't know. But I went into Adobe Pro or whatever that I have at work, and I was able to delete the um, the title off the top. And so it's now just blank and it's like these little boxes, they have a header and then little check boxes. And so this, um, I so wish that I kept notes of all the great ideas I got on YouTube because it basically how it works is like, I see a video and I'm like, oh, that's an interesting idea, but I probably would never use it. And then I like two days later, I'm like, that was a great idea. I want to use it, but I've forgotten by then who had the idea. So I'm sorry if you think it's you, then like, go ahead and give yourself credit in the comments. Um, but basically someone was saying that they used a layout that was similar to this, but was by a different, um, designer to basically have these little shopping lists for things. And like, yeah, okay. These are things I need to get next time we do a target run. Next time we go to Costco, we need bagels. There's a couple things that we need at the grocery store before I'm ready to make a full grocery list. Um, and so I just, yeah, this, this isn't here. I figured it should be in the front so that I see it and remember it. And then it's easy to get to if I'm in a store. And then I showed you these, these, uh, future log thingies. I also printed out the month grid. This is the version. Oh, does it, I forget which one. I think it might be 121. Yeah, I think this one's 121. Um, it's got, it's like the same as the freebie, 
that's on the Facebook group, but it has grid in each one, which is great. So like I can put my, you know, weeks gestation here and my, my Hogwarts weeks in like this little square there. And I went in ahead and I decorated it almost exactly like the April insert in my traveler's notebook, just so that I'd have it and kind of just for fun. Cause why not? I don't know if you have extra things to plan and decorate then like go for it. If that's what you like. Right. Yeah. Huh? Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. So there's my monthly so that if I'm bringing this with me and not that one, I have it. <laughs> and cause I felt like decorating it. I already showed you my planning and uh, sort of layouts and stuff. Um, and this, I put more, um, like I, I filled in the videos that I'm going to be making between April and maternity leave. Um, so this is the same insert as this one. And this one I'm using as sort of a next actions list for my YouTube video production. Cause I was realizing there's some like that I've already filmed that are just ready to be edited. Some that are already prepped that just need to be filmed and others that can be prepped and then still others that I can't really start working on until later on till like this setup is done or whatever. So I have this next actions list um, here to sort of be a really quick jumping off point when I'm like, all right, let's sit down and do some video production. Let's do some editing. And I go boom, boom, boom like that uh, without having to like shuffle through stuff. So then this is all the same, the same. Okay. And then I think this is the last thing I, Oh, almost. Well, yeah, this is the last thing. This is a savings tracker. There's room for like notes, but I just covered it with washi because it's pretty. And this is basically where I'm keeping track of how much is in my like personal, it's called in our budget software, it's called Rebecca's nail polish fund. Um, basically it's for anything that's for my hobbies. And so, um, I'm just keeping track of how much is in there so that like why not on my computer at home. And if I am away from home and I'm like, oh, that's something that I'd be interested in, but how much money do I have to be spending on it? Now I know. So that's all that is. And you'll see that I did make, yeah, that's where I purchased this tracker was right there. And so I put my wish list on the back of things that I would be interested in buying with this fund. I also printed out these goals and rewards trackers because I think they're really cool, but I have not started using them yet. Um, but I'm hoping to soon. And then I put the cardstock in the middle and extra pages in the back, including some of these really cute little ones. I've started actually writing a couple like to-do list things for later, but anyway, just having fun with it all. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, checking in. Sorry, that clip was really long. So I actually made like a list of inserts that I need to like make in here or pages basically. Um, and I've been crossing them off as I make them. Some of them I had already done. Others I just did like today. Um, you know, some things that I'm migrating from my old bullet journal setup. Um, and basically I have them all divided up into seven sections because I ordered a set of six tabs and then the front section won't have a tab. So that's seven total. Um, and including one that doesn't have anything to go in it yet. It'll be stuff for the baby when she comes. And yeah, that's pretty much how it's working. Oh, I added these, um, these tabs, uh, just to like the front page of each section where the dividers will go. I got the notification today that they are shipping, um, which is good cause it was going to take like one to two weeks and it's like five days, four days later and they've shipped. So they should be here. Um, after the weekend and I'm very excited to put them in here and to show you. <laughs> I got dividers. Um, these just came in today. You'll have seen them like two weeks ago, but I'm going to put these in, um, everywhere. I have a little tab here. So first one here does not have a tab on it. I don't know if I'm going to save these tabs. There's nothing written on them, so I could, but so the first section here has like stuff that I need to check in on like every day or whatever. Next actions list. You know what? I'll show you all of this in my setup video uh, next week, I think. But yeah, roughly that's like a to do section. This is like a planner section where I have like my dailies and my weeklies. This is a project section. 
these fit great. I like that the um, the holes on these dividers are, just, I think, a little bit smaller than um, what my hole punch makes. And they are like a nice size. All right. This next section is specifically YouTube videos so that they're not mixed in with my general projects. Then we've got a reference, reference section, and a like notes scratch paper section. Nope, nope, I missed a section that wasn't in here, but I'm going to put the dividers where they belong anyway. Uh, let's see. Know what I'm doing. It's not like they have to be in order, technically. I keep thinking that, like, if I were to, um, what's it, like, label them, because I'm not currently planning to label them. But anyway, this section here is going to be stuff for the baby. Um, but currently all of that is in my traveler's notebook. I'm going to leave it there, I think, and only use the section for stuff once she comes home. Um, we'll see if that works. If I decide I need it in here, then maybe I'll print some stuff out, stick it in here. Um, but for now, I can get rid of this little guy, which is, I mean, it did the job, but... And I haven't decided yet if I'm ready to slit these so that I can pull it in and out without opening the rings. Um, we'll see. Because like I am going to have to open the rings really whenever I do a left hand daily because I really can't reach in and write stuff on this side because it's too close to the ring. So I have to kind of take it out. So whenever I'm turning the page, I'll have to open it anyway. So we'll see. But yeah, so now I've got tabs. I've still got um, in front of this divider is this is sort of like a hey I just thought of something I need to get from the grocery store and I write it down here and then this protects that from getting oil from the leather all over it and then in the back I have another piece of acetate protecting this back note page and this back section has just like all of the random um, printables that I'm not currently using. Not all of them, like the ones that I could see myself wanting, like, hey, a checklist, I pulled this out and I put it somewhere else. Um, note paper, stuff like that. Uh, cool. Oh, this looks so good. So let's see, it sticks out just, I don't know if you can see. Um, you probably cannot see. The plastic is right here. So it sticks it just a little bit above the level of the planner. I don't know if that's going to bother me or be useful. Um, if it does bother me, I could. there's a little room to trim it. Um, but then it sticks out right up the top. So you can see today is right there. And we're good. We've got all these cute little dividers. Nice, nice, nice. This is coming together. I'm very excited. All right. There we go. I haven't decided, I think I'm gonna put the little piece of leather back on here to sort of like protect the edge. Um, but I have to grab my tiny little crochet hook to do that. So that I can reach through and yeah. Here, let me show you actually. I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I took this off when I first got it cause I've never had one of these little thingies. Like usually it's uh, sort of split as like a pen loop. I don't know. But I'm thinking that I might want to put it back. Um, so it, let me show you, it's super easy. So this applies for anything that you wanna put on your like traveler's notebook closure jump band. Um, in this case, it's a ring planner. So it has, um, it sticks through the back underneath these rings here. So I'm gonna kind of pull them out, there we go. So it'll just be knotted like that. And I can go ahead and pull it all the way up. I have to untie the loop, which is probably the trickiest part. Uh, let me fast forward through this. <laughs> Okay, I only 
only trimmed off like the hairy bits at the end. I'm gonna do that again. Um, there's, it's like a sheath of uh, nylon, I think, that covers the elastic. And it kind of, you know, starts to fray towards the end, but the elastic's still there. All right, so now I have to feed this through this rubber bit. So it goes, you can use the hook for this. It goes through this way. This is just one of the smallest crochet hooks I own for lace crochet and there we go. All right. And then through this direction, pop it through and then pull the elastic. I do own a slightly smaller hook. I am not sure where it is. All right. So that is threaded and now I have to not this back up, is that correct? Yes. All right, so normally what I would do when I'm putting it back in place is knot it first and then loop this through, um, like from the outside, pull it from the inside out, if that makes sense. So if you're not threading anything on here, uh, just restringing, I would recommend that, like stick this through and pull that way, if I'm being clear. Um, but as it is, this has to be on the outside. So I'm going to do it the other direction before I knot it. So this comes through. And I think I'll just do one at a time. Kind of hook and pull. Oh. I wonder if I should have removed everything from here first. Hook and pull. There we go. There's one. And then the other side here. Got to get the hook back through the loop. There we go, without pulling the elastic out of the way. And thread. Ah, come on. This is not elegant or delicate work. Leather's durable, it'll be fine. Come on, come on, come on, there we go. Good job. Okay. So we've got two ends of the elastic here, which we just tie in an overhand knot. Which we tie in an overhand knot. There we go. And then Tighten it nice and close to the ends. There we go. And now we just pull this way. It should be tucked underneath the ring mechanism so that it's not in the way. And uh, there we go. Just pull this around. Come sa. And there we go. This piece of leather is just sort of designed to protect the edge of the notebook from the elastic pulling too hard uh, to keep it from getting like dented, I guess. So yeah, I will try it with it on there for a while, see what I think of it. Um, I didn't give it a chance when I first got it. Uh, and so I'll see, it looks pretty good. And then if I decide I hate it, I can always take it out again. <laughs> okay, all right. So for the finishing touches, I'm not really one to decorate my planners that much. I think really just because I pull it in and out of my bag all the time. Um, I don't want things that are like dangling or sticking out um, because it's just going to catch or get dirty or whatever. So as far as decoration, there's everything's practical. Um, so uh, you'll have seen in my haul video of two weeks ago, I got these little stickers. And then I got these uh, sticky notes, which, let me see, I'm going to stick one here for now. Ooh, you know what? I didn't check how big these were going to be. That is too big. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. These are just, just big enough, or where they may be slightly problematically large. 
<laughs> it sort of sticks out a little bit. Okay, so that's what I get for not paying attention. I just wanted to stick a couple in here as sort of a, um, you know, uh, opportunity to use a sticky note when I need one. I think I will just sort of stick a few on this back one. Um, and then I can use this, sorry, this back dashboard. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be good for now. Or how about, how about I stick it on the back of this divider? If I put it right up to the edge here and then it's thick enough you probably can't it's oh it's really not that thick uh, it's only five and then I can just replenish them every so often as I need them and I'll just have this here um, basically when I need some like scratch paper or like something really quick to jot something down this it says add to planner but it's kind of a brain dump page um, and then this is a sticky note, so I can either scribble down some stuff for a shopping list or if it's going to be a real long shopping list, I'll be like, okay, here's a whole page and I can write a whole, a whole shopping list for the week. Um, this is also the section that I have extra note pages and, uh, different inserts and printouts and stickers and all that stuff in the back. So that will be good. And then, yeah, like I said, these stickers are decorative. Oh, I'll show you, uh, real quick. I made... I've used them for a couple things. I made a collection just last night of, here we go. This is my to binge list. I'm making a list of things that I want to watch or listen to. Um, if I, I, people have said it's useful to have just like stuff that you're watching or listening to when you're um, up at all now, all hours for the first few weeks of the baby's life. Uh, it's nursing every two hours. Just want something that I can turn on and binge watch or listen to some, so I'm collecting uh, TV shows and audiobooks. I'm putting them on here. So I used some washi tape on the top and then one of these little stickers, one of these little stickers on here. Cause why not? Uh, and there we go. So that is everything in my setup, uh, like procedure. And next week I'm going to do a full flip through and show you sort of how uh, each section is working. I know you got some of that this week, um, but next week will be sort of a full overview of my setup from really, I've started using this back in, well, partway through April and in earnest in early June. Is that right? No, I'm sorry. In early May um, as exclusively. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you how it's been working for the last couple weeks and how I foresee it working between when I'm filming this and when you're actually seeing it, things might change. But uh, in any case, I will see you next week for that new video. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment and have a good time. Bye.